Hi there guys how are you doing this is your friend and tutor manas and today we're going to be continuing with our discussion on projection of planes so let's see what the problem has in store here we go a rectangular 50 mm by 20 mm plate of negligible thickness has its surface inclined at 60 degrees to the hp and one of its smaller side is inclined at 30 degrees to the vp draw its projections oh my goodness whole lot of data has been given to us so let me write down the name of the object rectangular plate dimensions 50 mm by 20 mm so the larger side is 50 mm smaller side 20 mm obviously now two sets of angles have been given to us 60 degrees and 30 degrees now if you watch carefully this is the surface inclination okay the surface of this plate is kept at an angle of 60 degrees to the hp so any sort of inclination in relation to hp has to be denoted by theta remember this and whenever you talk of um inclination with vertical plane you have to denote that by phi so theta surface okay because surface is related to horizontal plane so theta surface is equal to 60 degrees whereas phi small h since it is inclined to the vertical plane has been given to us as 30 degrees all right so we have got all the data is worked out and now i have divided this entire solution of this particular problem in two parts part 1 is where i'll be giving you a demonstration as to how the object has been really kept with reference to hp and vp what shall be our initial assumption how to draw the front and top views initially and then in part 2 we'll simply draw we'll implement everything that we'll see in part number 1 okay so let's go ahead and do that so guys this in front of us is a rectangular plate having negligible thickness now this is going to be a three step problem as surface inclination and edge inclination both of them have been given to us now there are certain assumptions that we've got to make for step number 1 what are they let me tell you first thing if you read the problem carefully always try to work out the surface inclination especially in projection of planes so the surface inclination is like this making an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal plane 60 degrees with the horizontal plane slam the entire surface onto the hp this is our assumption and then you just need to think from where can you see the true shape of the surface obviously this true shape can only be seen from the top and hence in step number 1 you have to begin by making the top view first and then accordingly its front view is going to be made so this is what you will see from the top in step number 1 okay you guys you guys are watching this from the top so this is the top view and if you watch carefully if this is the xy line okay and you can see very clearly if i can extend this smaller edge over to this xy line you can see very clearly that this smaller edge right now has been inclined at an angle of 90 degrees with the xy line always remember guys that whichever edge in step number 3 has been inclined it initially in step number 1 has to be perpendicular to the xy line in the problem it has been mentioned very specifically that the smaller edge is making a certain angle say 30 degrees with the vertical plane if the smaller edge is making an angle at the end that is in step number 3 okay initially in step number 1 it has to be kept perpendicular with the xy line so this is your assumption for step number 1 so this is going to be your initial assumption the surface resting entirely onto the hp top view front view this is going to be step number 2 front view top view and this is going to be step number 3 something of this sort you can do it like this okay this way also the angle made over here is going to be equal to 30 degrees and you can do it this way also again the angle over here over here made is going to be equal to 30 degrees that's how you have to approach with this problem let's begin by drawing Okay guys now that you have seen how the object has been really kept we'll now go ahead and try to make the projection of this particular case so initially in step number 1 we are assuming that this entire surface is resting on the horizontal plane and based on this logic um we concluded that this true shape of the surface can only be seen from the top and hence we'll draw the true shape initially this is going to be 50 and this over here is 20 let me name four corners by a b c and d and let us now take a look at this object from the front now since this is entirely resting on the horizontal plane its front view will be somewhere along this xy line so this is going to be the front view okay with this point b comma a with a dash and this is going to be c comma d with a dash again and this is the front view this red colored line that you see thick line okay so whatever i'm doing with red color you have to do that with an edge pencil and wherever you see thin lines 
okay or colorless lines you can do that with a 4 edge pencil okay that's how i draw so guys this was all about step number 1 where initially it was assumed that this entire surface was resting on hp in step number 2 always remember this always um we have to take surface inclination and in step number 3 that is the final step you have to go for the edge inclination okay now you've seen very clearly that this smaller edge has been kept at an angle of 90 degrees with reference to x y line okay there is a specific reason i have told you that because in the final step that is step 3 this edge will be inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with reference to the x y line now guys in step number 2 we have to go for surface inclination and we know very well that the surface is inclined to the horizontal plane now any sort of inclination with hp can only be seen from the front so what basically we're going to be doing is we are going to re recreate this front view the same front view over here at an angle of 60 degrees okay we're going to be keeping this point a dash comma b dash in this x y line only something like this this is going to be a dash comma b dash and then we're going to be making a line something like this at an angle of 60 degrees and this is the distance same distance over will be over here also this is going to be c dash comma d dash now let's take a look at this surface rather inclined surface from the top and this is what you're going to get let me bring the projector lines downwards let me draw the projector lines from the left to the right and these are the intersection points now let me tell you how the intersection points can be worked out so this is the horizontal line for a this is the vertical line for a so this is going to be point a simple this is the horizontal for b this is the vertical for b this is point b similarly this is c and this is d and that's the top view okay dark it with an edge pencil obviously in step number three as i've already told you we have to go for edge inclination so as far as the data is concerned the edge is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with the vp so any sort of inclination associated with vertical plane or the wall you can say for example can only be seen from the top and hence we have to recreate this top view over here making sure that this edge smaller edge has been kept at an angle of 30 degrees here is the logic now guys just think about this if this smaller edge makes an angle theta with the x y line this larger edge will automatically make an angle of 90 minus theta and right now as far as this question is concerned this smaller edge is making an angle of 30 degrees in that case this larger edge shall be making an angle of 90 minus 30 that is equal to 60 degrees so what i'm going to be doing is i'll make this bc line over here at an angle of 60 degrees so that this smaller edge will automatically get itself set at 30 degree angle let me show you how that can be done let me make a point let us say this is point b and let me make a line at an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal okay now if you watch carefully guys this over here this angle over here is how much let me show you this is 90 degrees and this is also 90 degrees so i'm going to be making two lines over here here and here at 90 degrees okay and then simply you need to keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here with that much amount as the radii and with this guy b as the center you need to cut an arc over here and over here also with reference to c okay and this is exactly what you're going to get points a and d okay that's the top view finally now if you watch carefully this larger edge is making an angle of 60 degrees so this smaller edge will be making an angle of 30 degrees let me show you how Okay, if you extend this, you will automatically get this angle. This angle should probably be equal to 30 degrees. Now, let's take a look at this from the front. And this is exactly what you're going to get. Let me draw the projector lines from bottom to top and then from left to right. And these are the intersection points. So, this is the line for A and B. This is the vertical for A. This is going to be point A. Okay. And this is for B. This is B's vertical. This is B's horizontal. And this is point B dash. And that's how you're going to get the remaining points also. And finally, when all of these points are joined in proper sequence, this is exactly what you're going to get. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics, then do share this video and do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates and do tell them to subscribe so that all of you can benefit. I'll see you again with some more videos based on projection of planes. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.